Members of Northeast Ohio's close-knit towing and racing communities pay tribute to one of their own, 24-year-old Zachary Zach Francala. <laughs> that kid's amazing. He's amazing. He can do anything. Everybody loved him. He helped everybody anytime. Zach Francala's passion was racing and his number 47 car was a fixture on the local speedway circuit. But it was Zach's professionalism as a tow truck driver that endeared him to many greater Clevelanders. If you would call Zach at 3 in the morning because you got a flat tire, Zach would get out of bed and go help you with your flat tire. Zach Brancala, a father of two, was in his tow truck on Route 2 in Willoughby last Thursday afternoon, unaware that there was an accident up ahead. The smashed cars were on the freeway and they left them there and walked on the berm and all the chaos came and cars were backing up and skidding and it was a bad pile up. And as the 24 year old drove over a rise in the highway, his tow truck crashed into the back of a plumbing truck stopped in the traffic backup. Zach's truck then crashed into another vehicle. He was pulled from the wreckage and was later pronounced dead at Lake West Hospital. I was calling him, he's not answering. I'm driving down the freeway and I looked over and seen his truck smashed. The procession is not only a tribute to Zach Roncala, it is a reminder to everyone about the dangerous nature of freeway accidents. If you're in an accident, get off to the side of the road. Don't block a highway where cars can't control it at 55, 65 mile an hour. The destination of the procession is the Painesville Speedway here in Lake County, where Zach Broncala was a championship level driver and a beloved member of the local racing community. His family and friends say the track was a fitting place for the celebration of Zach's life. He loved the racetrack. We've been going there since he's been in his carrier. He couldn't even walk yet. And this display of horsepower and respect for Zach Broncala by the racing community is a source of pride for his grieving family. Zach would be so proud right now. This is all for him. Jack Shea, Fox 8 News in Painesville.